Hello everyone, welcome back to the new modeling tutorial from Hanora 3D. In today's video, you will see how to create this cool shape in a few easy steps. Think one day you are going to make a shape like this, maybe you can try to apply these steps to your modeling process. First, we need a cylinder with 36 sides. At this time, we don't need the height segments, so we can set the height one for now and choose the radius and height based on your needs. However, the most important thing is the sides count, so focus on that before continuing your process. Okay, now at the edit poly, select the polygon selection and delete the top and bottom faces, we don't need that. Alright then, add the FFD2 modifier to get an elliptical shape to the cylinder. Pull both sides through the FFD. Ok, now we have to boolean, but before that look at this area, you can see the first cylinder sides and the second cylinder sides do not align with each other. However, we don't need to consider that because we don't have a horizontal segments of our first cylinder, so it doesn't affect our model. But in this case, let's reduce the sides value of the second cylinder. Ok, these numbers are fine. Ok, now we need a small cylinder to create this area shape. I think we can manage with low side count, so reduce the value. Alright, now we have to connect the small cylinder with our base. First, I select 5 faces each from both cylinders. And then click the bridge to connect them. Oops, I have made a mistake. Let's fix it. Okay, then take a copy of the model or create a new cylinder. Remove the old modifiers. Actually, this cylinder is not connected with the model. I just use it to take a perfect curve shape in this area. Alright, as we see, we have a big empty area top and bottom of this edge line. First, we need to add a few edge loops. This time, I think two are enough. Okay, these edges will connect with the curve we are going to create. And that's very important to get the curve shape. Ok, let's create the curve shape. So we have 7 edges on this side. Make sure there are 7 edges on the other side when connecting these edges.
All right. Finally, adjust the edges for a smooth result. Okay, if you enjoyed and learned something new, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. See you soon with another video.